good morning. Now welcome to my Saturday ride. November the 16th. A little chilly, windy. Actually, not too cold. It's 38 degrees according to my phone. Um, but kind of windy today. So I got the winter winter riding gear on the winter gloves, balaclava, and all that. But uh wind actually feels pretty good. Um, when you're dressed for it, when you're out in these conditions, it's not too bad. Um, I find that I drink about 12 ounces of water before I go on a ride, so it's easier to stay hydrated. So you hydrate before the workout. And then I have a bottle of water with me. So I'll take a few gulps here and there, but I should be pretty good because you know, in these temperatures, you're not sweating as much, so you don't need to drink as much. But, uh, just left the house. I don't have a specific, I have a general idea of the route I'm going to go, but I uh, just kind of see, uh, see where I feel like going. Yeah, this time of year, Herc 1120 is going to be more about the biking videos. It's not so much the wasp. Like I said, Herc 1120 has always been about more than a wasp anyway. To the left, this will take us to uh, the Struble Trail. And then from there, we've got decent options. Pizza guy not really paying attention. You always got to be cautious as a bicyclist. A lot of drivers that aren't very mindful of the road. But I'm used to it biking for years longer than I've been doing the lost stuff so I've been running too I've actually been running four or five days a week but uh, my right knees uh, I'm not gonna say bad but just kind of clicking a lot if that makes sense you now we're going downhill so the wind's picking up but so my right knee is kind of stiff from running so I got on the bike and also uh, my back I just I feel like I gotta take a break from running I've been like running like three miles, three and a half miles after work every day. Um, and it's good, I mean it's a great workout, but it's much more stressful on the body, more wear and tear on the body than biking. So if I do a 12 to 15 mile bike ride, I feel like it's equivalent to a four or five mile run. And I think biking is more fun anyway. It's more efficient, um, a friend of mine said running. Yeah, it's, it's more of a workout, you can do less. The running's less efficient, so if you do like three miles running, you're gonna get more of a workout because it's less efficient than if you do a three mile bike ride. Because bike riding is more efficient. Just like driving a car, you know? Driving a car is very efficient, but like zero workout, unless if you count moving your arms to steer. So I'm sure a lot of you have seen this route before. This is like a general starting out route. And then from here, we go through this uh, neighborhood. So it's take us to access this trail. I'm sure I'll know we can kind of get out into some of these back roads, back country roads as I call it, even though it's not really back country. Nobody's going, the pool's all closed up. I might go into the borough, Downing Town, or stay out in the, in the rural side, the rural streets. Now the leaves have pretty much fallen, everything's opened up so you can see more. The sun's not as direct, although you get more sunlight, but the sun's not as direct now. It's more of it at an angle, so it's dimmer, I, I like to say. Not as bright as in the summer. I still got my sun, I, I remember my sunglasses today. Yeah, I'm not really feeling the wind too much. I'm kind of dressed up. Alright, so we go right here down the access. Trail access. This is a great uphill too. You run up this hill, you can bike it up. It's a great workout. And this trail shouldn't be too crowded today. So I ride year round. I'm not good outside year round. I go to a gym or anything, I just have a weight set at home I use in the morning before I go to work. 
something that in the afternoons I do either running or bike riding, so this looks in good shape. If I jog in towards there, let's see what we're going to go right. Battery said 94% when I uh, turn on the GoPro at the house. I, I always take the battery out because if I didn't, uh, it would probably be at zero. Because even when the GoPro was not on, it still uh, drained the battery. That's something I learned almost right away. Lithium-ion batteries are great, but you got to charge it every time. And this only takes about. I'd say an hour tops if it's in like two percent. Like say I go on a long ride, it's like two. I get it down like two percent or zero. It takes like an hour to charge. I'm surprised that person even noticed I was there. I guess they could hear the crunch of the gravel. Yeah, running is definitely, uh, I feel like I'm a stronger bike rider from running. Just kind of going even pace, probably going about 12 miles and at 12 to 15 miles an hour right now. going to ease up a little bit this week, the next couple days, but winter came quick. Go right, or left, I'm sorry. Go left. Permit to bike to cycle on this road. There's no shoulder. So I'm going to go left again. And it's clear. Not much traffic out on a Saturday morning. One of the nice things about riding here on the weekends. You know, if this was 4:35 o'clock on a Friday evening, forget it. Bad. You get a lot of people that commute into Philly or even New York and then they, they live here. Not so much New York, maybe some, but a lot of Philly commuters that drive to the train station because even if you take the train, the train station is still three miles or so from here, so you gotta drive there. So you go to the downtown of the Exxon train station. Exxon's probably about six miles, seven miles, and then the downtown's about three miles from here. Last, back in February, did a similar route. You, my loyal followers, might remember this one, this road. This is all about just getting, getting the blood going in the cold weather. I'm not one of those people that sits inside. Gotta be out and about. That's what my life's about. I feel so guilty about those beers on the weekend, on a Saturday night. There's like a walking path to the right, but I don't know if the project's completed yet, because it kind of dead ends up here. But uh, since uh, the suburban sprawl the last 25 years here, they've kind of made an effort to put a lot more walking and multi-use trails in, which is a good thing. 
and they all they're all uh, pretty connective so you can get a lot of mileage in some of them connect to uh, bigger trail systems such as the Schuylkill Chester Valley and Perky Omen Trail and then the sky's the limit from there this way gust the wind kind of between the ridges here so really get the wind it's like a wind tunnel hope the GoPros picking up some of the wind the wind chill is probably in the 20s This is what I was saying, like over here, that's just like dead ends. Just gotta blaze it through those woods. GoPro didn't freeze up. Been disappointed with GoPro freezing up on filming. I'm gonna go up this way. There's a bitch of a hill. Yeah, I might double back. See what I feel like doing. Farms up here. Begin the ascent upwards. Really, two or three pitches in this hill, so it's a good thing. Kind of levels out, gives a little break. We go up again. Just keep motoring up. Yeah, this is really my only bike. It's a good all-around bike. You can't do any urban assault type shit because it's not full suspension. Actually, it's fully rigid. So you can't really do many drops. No more than a two foot drop. And I've got flipless pedals. So it's better for cross country riding and on the road. Yeah. Riding into the wind now uphill. Once it opens up, you really feel the wind. Getting there. Maybe. Should be able to ride this whole thing.
haven't had to take a sip of water yet during this ride. Always get steepest at the end. Why do they do that? out there Access parking. Continuing on. <laughs> 